Hi, I'm Nicole Hemrick, and I'm the managing partner at Hemrick O'Malley PLLC. Something that often comes up during the course of a green card application is the need to travel internationally. As you may know, when you're applying for your green card, you can simultaneously request travel authorization by filing a Form I-131. However, it takes so long often for the travel authorization called advanced parole to be issued that there might be a need to travel before obtaining this document. So what can you do? First of all, if you are in certain visa categories, you may be able to still travel utilizing your visa as long as it's still valid. Meaning, if you are an H-1B temporary employee, if you are an L-1 intracompany transferee, these are visa types that allow you to continue traveling on your visa while pending adjustment of status without jeopardizing your green card application. Not all visa types are treated the same. All one visa holders, for example, cannot travel internationally only on their O-1 and return without advanced parole, without compromising their green card application. So what can people who require travel authorization but haven't received it yet do? What we advise our clients is to go online at USCIS.gov and schedule an info pass appointment. That's I-N-F-O-P-A-S-S. -S. You will see a few options and one of them is going to be emergency travel authorization. One of the options is going to be emergency advanced parole. So you're going to select that option. Then you will go through a few prompts. Essentially to get this type of appointment, you're going to have to prove that there's some emergent need for travel meaning maybe there's been a death in the family or you have a medical appointment abroad. Perhaps you have a business meeting or a real estate transaction abroad. You are going to need this evidence ultimately if you are given the appointment and you're going to have to bring this evidence with you to the appointment. So after you go through these prompts, typically what happens is you'll be told that you're going to be waiting for a telephone call. Then an officer will contact you and let you know if you've been granted the appointment or not. If you're not granted the appointment, you will receive an email informing you as much. If you are granted the appointment, you will then be instructed as to what to bring with you to the appointment. That'll likely be a new copy of a Form I-131, your passport, any receipt notices you have about your case, and two passport style photographs. Sometimes you're also asked to bring the filing fee related to the I-131. And of course, you're going to need whatever evidence you have regarding the emergency travel. The appointment itself is pretty routine. You sit in front of an immigration officer who looks at your documents, and then at the end of the appointment, what you're looking for is the advanced parole document, which is a document you would present to CBP on your return to the United States. Just like a visa, advanced parole does not guarantee that you have to be let back into the United States. However, in most cases, it should suffice. Before you travel, it's always advisable to speak with your immigration attorney. There are certain people that could put themselves in jeopardy and wind up possibly getting detained and placed in removal proceedings if they exit the United States and re-enter. If you have questions about advanced parole or any other immigration issue, give us a call at 833-848-7838. Thank you. Bye.